what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video and uh it feels good to be back for those who don't know uh i got uh sick the past couple of days actually um and fortunately enough it wasn't covid related i tested negative for covid i took a covid test like a few days ago so i don't have covid so thank god for that but uh i was definitely under the weather um i ended up catching like a a fungus in the back of my throat it was totally disgusting sucked couldn't really talk couldn't really eat couldn't drink so there was no way i was going to really be able to record but i'm doing much much better the medicine that i got um has really been helping me so uh yeah man i'm able to record this video and while i was under the weather not feeling well i had to take time to watch kenny omega versus brian danielson and when I say it was one of the greater matches I've seen this year, hands down, easily one of the best matches I've seen this year. And mind you, I wasn't even feeling well. Imagine watching a wrestling match and you're not feeling well at all. You would think someone would be sleeping trying to regain their strength. I made sure I took time to watch that match, not feeling well, and I was still enjoying it for everything that it was. The fact that they started off the show with them two, got the crowd hot and hyped, perfect. To see that arena excited to see this match, and this match wasn't even for the title. It was just them going against each other, one-on-one. -on -one. And I, and I enjoyed this. This is what wrestling is about. I didn't even take any notes because I wasn't really feeling too well, but I was just enjoying it for as a, as a viewer. And it was great. Easily. One of the best matches of 2021. And I enjoyed the storytelling. I enjoyed them like like Kenny Omega targeting the neck neck region of Daniel Bryan because we all know he's had his you know his issues with his head and neck region I like the story they were telling there I love the selling I love the brutal nature there were some a lot of stiff shots this is what wrestling is the crowd was eating it up the entire time to hear the yes chance as he's kicking him to oblivion was beautiful great fantastic and i enjoyed every second of it and this is what makes wrestling great and I, I i don't know what else to say other than if you haven't seen that match and you're a wrestling fan go check it out it is easily a main event worthy match easily one of the best matches all year easily and i love me some wwe but that match right there Definitely one of the better matches that WWE has produced, that AEW has produced. You know, I'm I'm willing to put this match on one of the top ten of all of of this year. Easily can go on that list. It's it was just that good, that fantastic, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it for what it was, um, and I just it just feels good to see the love and passion for wrestling again. It, I don't feel like I have to cringe when I say I watch wrestling, especially when it comes to AEW. Yes, there are some cringe moments, but when you're watching something like that, you don't feel ashamed. You feel proud because of what they're putting on in the ring. It looks believable. It's intense. The crowd is loving it. It seems like this is something you should be watching. Now, not to say that WWE hasn't, you know, made me feel proud to watch their product at times, especially when it comes to Roman Reigns. Like, you can't go wrong being a fan of Roman Reigns at this point. Like, no, I don't think anyone would look at you differently if he was a fan because of what he's doing for the product. But this is just one of those situations where it just feels good to be a wrestling fan. It feels good to know there is an alternative outside of WWE that's going to give you something that you actually want. The fans want it. Kenny Omega, Brian Danielson, they got it. As soon as he got there, they set it up. That's what the fans wanted. 
and they got it. And I'm okay with it. I, I'm really, there's not much to say other than AEW, they are, they're, they're showing why it is good to have competition in the wrestling world. Legitimate competition. Of course, WWE still, still will be beating them in the ratings, but people will now be able to actually, they want to watch some, some wrestling, wrestling that makes sense for the most part. They can go there and watch actual wrestling and get their fix of wrestling if they really want to. So, and I and I like the ending. I like the ending went to a, a no contest because they went to a time limit. So, I like that. Uh, it, it, well, it went to a time limit. And I, I like that. No one interfered in this match. There was no shenanigans or anything of that nature. It's just these two guys going at it, but they weren't able to complete the time limit. So, it's going to conti continue to keep the feud going on because you couldn't have Dan or Brian Danielson lose. And you definitely don't want to have your world champion lose. So, go to a time limit. Make people want more. People are going to want to see more of this. I'm looking forward to it. Of course, um, of course, the Young Bucks, his crew, uh, they 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 come in, they get involved after the match is over, and then of Luchasaurus and Christian Cage, everyone else comes in to help Brian Danielson. So um, that was cool to see. Um, but uh, you you expected it to be like that. I think what was cool is him applying the label lock on Kenny Omega before the rest of Kenny Omega's crew come out to help. It was it was a beautiful sight to see. They were really building up that him getting put in that move will ultimately finish Kenny Omega. And I like they were trying to build that story. Just Brian Danielson couldn't get a hold of it. If he could have got a hold of it, maybe the match would have ended differently. So I like that. This was dope. I'm just glad to be able to make this video for you guys. And let you guys know, I did watch it, and I did enjoy it. So comment down below. Let me know. Do y'all think this match is easily one of the top 10 of this year? Is this in your top 10 matches of this year? And for me, I, I might have to put in the top 10 matches of wrestling for this year, in my personal opinion. I have to. It, it's, it's that good. So comment down below. Let me know if this is in your top 10 of this year for best matches. Appreciate all the love and support. Feels good to be back. Feels good to be able to record again. I'm not 100%, so I'm not sure if you can tell in my voice, but I'm still taking my medicine. That way I can, you know, keep bringing you guys content. Content will be dropping all weekend. Just best believe we will be checking out the stream rules on the end of clutch page. Stay tuned in that. Appreciate all the love and support. Roll to 60K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.